Bloating Explained – How Simple Physics Helps You Understand This Common Problem Now on to bloating. Bloating is an uncomfortable sensation that happens when the tube of the digestive tract stretches, usually from trapped gas. The tube of the digestive system, called the luminal gastrointestinal tract, has a unique feature when it comes to pain. You can cut open the intestines and not feel a thing. The major pain receptors, called nociceptors, sense stretch and spasms, but not pain like in your skin. That's why trapped gas that distends the gut leads to pain. It triggers the stretch receptors. Why may that be? Like a balloon, there is a limit to how far you can stretch the gut. If it stretches too much, the intestines can develop a hole called a perforation, which can be fatal. This pain of bloating is your body's reminder to let it go, whether through a belch, medically called uructation, or passing gas, called flatus. You want to do this before the gut gets too distended, thanks to another law of physics called the law of Laplace. The law of Laplace states that pressure required to stretch a hollow tube decreases as the radius of the tube increases. Simply put, if the gut gets super distended, it doesn't take much to pop it open. It's the same concept for ear pain when flying. The air inside your middle ear expands at higher elevations. This then pushes against the eardrum. If the eustachian tube doesn't open to let out the pressure, then the eardrum balloons up. If it gets big enough, it can rupture. Let's go back to the airplane to summarize what we've learned and take a little test. We're on the runway waiting for takeoff with Oscar and Olivia. Oscar's been constipated and gassy lately. Before he boarded the plane, he drank a few sodas. He's also lactose intolerant and ate a pizza six hours ago. As he waits for takeoff, he nervously chews on gum, swallowing a lot of air. Olivia is very regular and had a great bowel movement an hour before she boarded the plane. She avoided carbonated beverages and is peacefully awaiting takeoff. As the plane passes 8,000 feet, Oscar starts to feel bad. His gut bloats and cramps. He desperately waits for the captain to turn off the seatbelt as Olivia watches on in horror. Be sure to leave comments for what Olivia did right and Oscar did wrong. For extra credit, be sure to say why. We hope you've enjoyed this video and have a better understanding of how physics influences gas and bloating. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos. Be sure to watch part two of bloating where we discuss where gas comes from and ways to help.